Hey, Mikey. Yo. Daniel Larson. Ugh. Yes. He's like, he goes to jail a lot. <laughs> Is he in jail again? Yay! Banana Bear Show. Why a sigh, man? <laughs> Daniel Larson. <laughs> uh, he went to jail. <laughs> uh, and we showed him being arrested. Yep. Um, some other stuff has happened. Oh, since it then. always does. It never ends. So this is kind of like a recap. Um, Yay. So where we are left off is when he was in jail, uh, he had a couple of conversations. They were just like, you know, just one thing about him being raped in the butt by oh. uh, one of his prison mates. Wow. And yep. then him getting out. You're like, oh, he got out. Well, yeah. The fun just began then. Yeah, I guess. Uh, so I like to contain this as from point A, getting out of jail. Okay. To point A, B, getting out of jail. Because he gets, he goes to jail again. Okay. This is these videos are from one source, a leaping uh, lemur. Yeah, uh, it's funny because this recap was the last time he just used this cute photo of this lemur. Now he has like this other thing. Shout out to him because he puts all the stuff that Daniel Larson has done, even in written form, in this video. It's good. It's good. Everyone, how are you doing today? My name is the Leaping Lemur, and welcome back to another video. Do you think he just uses the mouse and just moves it around? Yeah. Or y'all, in this video, we'll That's be doing another works. weekly recap. In this recap, you'll hear me say the phrase, "This was a." I wild think it's looped. He just recorded it. I I know, but it looks like yeah. it's fucking something. Soon like... you'll see why I say that. This is probably one of the most interesting <laughs> nice. recaps I had to edit. The whole time I was engaged with how the story played out. We started off with Daniel being left by Fate Grace, and of course that resulted in him obsessing over her for days. We also saw Daniel show up late to court and miss another court hearing, which means oh. he might get arrested again soon. Finally, we finished off the week with Daniel believing he is Jesus and spamming the comments of Grace. Vanderwall's newest music video. Just watch oh. as past Lemur explains this week in the Larson universe. So today's video is going to be a long one, folks. I missed Monday, and today was a pretty crazy ass day for Daniel. He did his usual schizo posting on TikTok and his community tab, but he also paid for a homeless man's meal and posted it all over social media. But first, let's talk about yes about Daniel paying for this homeless man's cheesecake. Yes, the man who can't even pay for his own food most of the time took it upon himself to help who he describes as a homeless man, as if Daniel isn't in the exact same position. Also, why did he feel the need to record it? I guess we all know the real reason. Because he's a fucking asshole. But anyway, yeah. here's the videos. In Golden, Colorado, if you go to this address, they will be able to help you out getting resources. Do you realize... In the circle of life, um, having Daniel Larson be the guy to give you guidance out of homelessness is bad. Well, my thing is, like, why doesn't he take his own advice and just do it? Like, that's, you know, that's no, because already... he's kicked out of all those places, <laughs> Mikey. He's a felon. And plus, Chris Vaderwall and him are going to get married. Oh. In Golden, Colorado. Mm -hmm. And you could keep the card, so you know the address. Uh, well, thank you. But I don't want to go to Colorado. <laughs> They're in Colorado. Oh, cool. He doesn't want to go to Golden, Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> Which Daniel has been kicked out of everywhere in Golden, Colorado. Guy named Daniel Larson gave me this card. Can you help me? No. Did you touch him? <laughs> Sir, you're gonna have to go to the hospital. You got scabies. <laughs> Sir, you might die. <laughs> Get people to donate to him. He's obviously having money troubles. I mean, he's got the whole thing now where he'll lie and say he's skipping lunch to save on cash, but in reality, we all know he has none at all. After well, he's not that, lying. He he's saving on cash that he doesn't have. TikTok gifts. 
writing, I'm trying to get my TikTok gifts to cash out because I have $150 waiting for a deposit. Daniel continues to complain about needing donations and money. As a little bit later, Daniel also writes, the haters just got my PayPal banned with an angry face emoji. And this ends Daniel's begging saga for now. I feel like this was one of the more better things that Daniel's trolls have got done. Daniel doesn't deserve any donations at all. He is- My God, dude. I know. He's a- he is a horrible person. But when you cut off a money line that you severely need, he has nothing backing him up. Yeah. Nothing, Mikey. Yeah. Like Cyrex says, you know, Sally yeah. uh, and Ed. But dude, th he has nothing. Nope. Because Bob isn't even like giving him yeah. money anymore. He has alienated everyone. Oh, God. Okay, so. What? CI. Yeah. God. Dude, how sick do you got to be to do this? Dude, Daniel's going to fucking actually try to find her. But he's like too dumb to actually find her. Unless somebody points her out. Yeah. Then she's doomed. Yeah. So the trolls have been fucking with Daniel and making these AI videos, which obviously he sees as true. I mean, it's Daniel. You don't even gotta use AI. You can just no. hire some random chick off of Fiverr to do it. Either way, the trolls have decided this is gonna be their new way to fuck with Daniel's mind. They've also made this whole storyline where Grace is now with Jacob Satorius, prompting Daniel to make this YouTube community post. Daniel writes, and I quote, Jacob Satorius is Clark and Grace Vanderwall and him keep lying to me. We'll have to check in tomorrow to see how this develops, but so far it's seeming like it's gonna be a good arc. The Daniel Larson AI arc. Y'all, Daniel Larson just can't stop. From threatening the FBI to believing in a fake AI phone call of Grace Vanderwall, Daniel has been going through delusions quicker than toothbrushes, folks. Today is no different. Not only has I like this reference guy. there, he puts toothbrushes up his butt. Oh Daniel yeah. He's been going crazier than ever. He's also been banned on TikTok. Probably because Again. he threatened the FBI last week. I mean, what did he expect to happen? I'm surprised he wasn't kicked off the platform after being caught. Mikey. Yeah. That's the second time. <laughs> Do you think by the end of this video, he does it again? Yeah, of course. Texting a minor. Either way, let's look at Daniel's final TikTok videos. I now have over $300 in my company savings and growing. I have Jefferson. Did you hear that? Yeah. Company savings and. Because the guy's going to bring it up, but I heard it too, though. Growing. They don't like me. They don't like me. $300 in my company savings. Play it again. They don't like me. Did he edit that over? No, because this doesn't make sense. Yeah. He never edits anything. There's something else, too. I have Jefferson County Court set for tomorrow. Take that bitch. Yeah. I have just received a call from Dexter about a possible reality show that I will be on. 
So pretty normal Daniel Larson schizo posting, right? He talks about being able to get a hotel room and how Dexter is his new manager. But in one of these videos, I heard some weird shit. I'm gonna play yeah. it back with the volume up so y'all can hear it too. It almost sounds like somebody's whispering. Just listen. I don't like me. I have Jefferson County Court set for tomorrow. Bitch. So at first I thought I was going crazy, but the more I listen, they don't like me. Take that bitch. Huh? Mikey, what is there's a ghost around fucking Daniel Larson? And this is like the first time we heard paranormal activity. That'd be some shit. Or that scabies talk. Listen, That's I'm more right likely. Whisper saying some weird shit. I can't even think of what it could be. I mean, y'all can comment your theories, but I literally can't think of why it would be edited in the video or how his mic would just pick that up. Maybe his schizophrenic delusions are so strong that it's coming through the camera. Anyway, like let's that. move on to some more weird stuff that Daniel's been posting on his account. We all know that yesterday Grace broke up with Daniel, but the trolls also convinced Daniel that Jacob Satorius is dating Grace now. This saga continues as Daniel still is focused strongly on Grace to the point where it's becoming concerning. Grace should be aware that Daniel is looking into seeing her, but I'm yeah. getting ahead of myself. This all started when Daniel writes, I just canceled my engagement plans for this summer with Grace Vanderwall with a broken heart emoji at the end. Daniel doesn't oh. stop there. From then on out, Daniel is heavily focused on him and Grace. He follows that up by writing, Tina and I are confused with what Grace Vanderwall is doing. Soon enough, Daniel's confusion will fade to anger as Daniel starts to truly believe he was cheated on. He later writes, Grace Vanderwall is about to be in extreme trouble with Tina Vanderwall when she gets home from the hospital. Later, we figure out exactly why Grace is in the hospital, but for some reason, Daniel doesn't initially explain it. He then follows that up with writing about his experience in court, saying, I just got yelled at by the judge because they are calling me and Grace delusional. It's hard to say if this truly happened, but if it did, it was deserved. I hope some kind of authorities do find out about this obsession with Grace. It's starting to become super concerning. He then yeah. goes back to talking about being cucked by Jacob Satorius writing, Grace Vanderwall is telling me that she didn't use birth control last night and for me not to tell Tina Vanderwall that she might get pregnant with Jacob Satorius after cheating on me. I wonder who's doing all this shit because it's truly sick. This is going too far. It's one yep. thing to make up a fake person or to use some meme to mess with Daniel, but this is real celebrities. It's highly dangerous. I'm not even yep. trying to be high and mighty or anything. Fuck with Daniel all you want. But what did Grace ever do to anyone? Then we finally get to figure out why Grace was in the hospital with Daniel writing, Tina Vanderwall just hit Grace because she cheated on me. This is where shit begins to get crazy, folks. As Daniel starts to post fake Tina just now. straight to his community tab, following that up with this long text reading, I beat the crap out of her for cheating on you, but that's as far as it's going for now because Jacob has housing and he doesn't call Grace names. Daniel, you called her names and you're mean to her and when you thought she broke up with you and she didn't, you dropped housing. Jacob thinks before he acts. Then Daniel starts saying some really concerning things, writing, I just hit Bob so hard he is limping because of Grace Vanderwall cheating on me. I doubt that this actually happened, but the fact that Daniel has these ideas in his head are concerning, especially as yeah. we see Daniel start to form his plan to meet up with Grace. This is just reminding me of a look how we haven't covered. We'll eventually have to. Um, the guy that made uh, Temple, uh, Temple OS. Temple OS, yeah. Where his world became fake. Yep. But that was like drastic. And like he was homeless at the end. Well, there was that, uh, the, uh, the singer that uh, this guy became so obsessed with. He went and he shot her because if he couldn't have her, no one else could. Oh, you're talking about the uh, Selena girl? Uh, no. I <laughs> this happened recently. I love with you. I remember that, and then like J Lo, I think played her. But no, no, um, no. This happened this, recently. This is like a delusion, like in that world. And I understand, like obsessed fans. But he's not. I mean, he is an obsessed fan, but like he's kind of being. Oh, he's delusional to the extreme man he's After like learning about grace being in the fake hospital, text daniel starts to ask for donations to go see her providing his venmo link in writing please donate for an emergency trip to see grace vanderwall in the hospital then daniel posts a text from the medical assistant's point of view with that post reading this is the medical assistant <laughs> i'm assisting the doctor and putting her cast both of her hands tina and her daughter grace 
<laughs> like hey, if this is the doctor. Like every great medical assistant starts out with, this is the medical assistant. <laughs> Let me tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> this is great. I don't know who you are. But... I do not know what floor Grace is on or her condition. I just know it looked really bad. I do not know when she will be released. Probably not for several days. We're keep I'm, I'm assisting the doctor, but I do not know where she's at. <laughs> Perfect. Keeping Tina overnight, possibly longer if her heart keeps acting up. This phone is about to die and she did not bring a charger. This shit's crazy, folks. I mean, Daniel really believes that Grace and Tina are in the hospital. But if you thought that this is the end, you are gravely mistaken. Just a of little course. bit later, Daniel writes, I'm dating Grace Vanderwall again, according to Tina Vanderwall. <laughs> and then after this, Daniel goes right back to wanting to get engaged to Grace. Shit, he's even going to raise Jacob's kid as his own. I mean, he doesn't give a fuck. Daniel continues speaking about the engagement, writing, I'm working on Grace and my engagement plans with Tina Vanderwall. For a while, Daniel continues his normal skills so posting going from being angry at grace one second to planning their engagement the next a little bit later in the day daniel continues speaking about their engagement writing i just bought grace vanderwall an engagement ring from macy's Bullshit. lastly daniel writes <laughs> i'm going to be on agt he also adds some clarification in the comments replying two times writing, grace wanted yeah. me to i guess propose to her with the wedding ring that tina was going to pay for and now it's our engagement but probation won't let me until everything is sorted out which i'm working on but Grace keeps claiming that things are not happening fast enough, and unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that. And Tina has told me and Grace that she needs to calm down, and I guess Grace got angry last night and did some things with Jacob behind everyone's back. And is now, I guess, creating a family and probation conflict, because Grace doesn't listen. So folks, it seems as though Daniel is going to head down to what? Pasadena to meet up with Grace. I mean, he seems pretty confident in this engagement, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Y'all, it's been a wild week for Daniel. Last time we took a look at him, he was worried about his engagement to Grace. While Daniel still mentions it today, this doesn't seem to be Daniel's main focus at the moment. Of course. Today, Daniel seems to be more focused on his court hearing, basically showing up late to court and quickly leaving to go on what Daniel describes as an adventure. Just watch as Daniel compares him and Bob to two geese and has an orgasm over seeing a train. Two Canada geese fight each other in an argument. That's exactly my friendship with Bob. And what I do you remember American Beauty? Yes. When the guy's taping the bag and he's like, it's so beautiful. Yeah. And Daniel Larson's having an American Beauty moment. Yikes. And, and I did mention the thing about like um, Temple OS. Uh, seeing a train kind of reminds me of that too. What the fuck am I watching? Somebody driving in water. What the heck? That looks fun! I'm good. I, uh, I don't want to step in the water. <laughs> that looks fun, though. <laughs> they were following him. Yeah. They know who he is. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just wondering where the water came from. I'm a huge fan. I've seen you. Oh, thank you. Uh, sure. Why? Why? Mikey, would you take a photo with Daniel Larson? No. Even if it will make you famous? I would take a photo of him, not with him. He's not worth the fame? I think I would. I might. I might sit I mean, down. I bathe. I bathe regularly. If I get... I don't think I'll get scavy. I might sit down in the general vicinity near him. <laughs> like what? Like uh, Forrest Gump? <laughs> and, uh, and interview him. I might do that. Do that at Cyrex. Give us some money for an interview. Yeah. I would interview these people. I don't care. Then after, you know. No, like in person. Yeah, and then after 
I'll say uh, you're dirty, dirty man. Me? Not you. Oh, I was like, what? The little cow. Yeah. yeah. My truck? Yeah, it's nice. Heck yeah. We gotta get this picture. How old are these guys? They're like 12. You ready? 17. Oh. Heck yeah. Let's get one more. Heck yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It was so good to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. So good to meet you. Young. You too. So gonna, yeah, Daniel had a good time die. going all over Colorado and recording the different stuff he saw. Honestly, nothing to hate on. Probably some of the most normal Daniel content we've gotten in a while. I mean, as normal as Daniel could get, of course. But this doesn't really translate to Fair. his community tab. Daniel starts off by writing, I have Jefferson County Court today for the Olive Garden case with Grace Vanderwall. After this, Daniel makes some irrelevant references to Bob, Tina, and Grace. He even brings Clark back into the mix. Then Daniel continues on about court writing, the Jefferson County Court clerk office just hung up the phone on me because I called them to notify them I'll be late because I don't have a car. I can't imagine how hard it is to have to have a conversation with Daniel. Of course he got hung up on. He probably called the clerk the n-word. Daniel then gives some insight into his charges writing, probably. the judge wants to give me 30 days in jail, 12 months probation, and 48 hours community service for the Olive Garden incident. It's crazy that Daniel keeps getting off the hook for this shit. Yes. I mean, we'll see later. It seems as though Daniel didn't even make it to court. He just traveled there, showed up late, and fucked around after he figured out court isn't held all day. It's unclear if Daniel actually skipped court, but I'm leaning more towards the side that he did. He gives us multiple different stories in his community tab, with Daniel first stating, I'm almost to court. A little bit later, Daniel follows that up by writing, My court case just changed. I'm at the courthouse talking to the clerk's office. No court today, and and they can't find the case. Here's proof I was there. My question is, why didn't they tell Daniel this on the phone the first time he called saying he was going to be late? We they see might this have tried. Probably total bullshit as Daniel quickly changes the story, writing, I just talked to the county clerk office and they told me that I didn't need to show up for the court and it was only for paperwork for the judge. So what is it, Daniel? Was there no court or was it only for the paperwork? Things get even more confusing as Daniel writes, I was at the courthouse, so they can't lie to me and say I wasn't there, even if I went to the courtroom as well. It's not my fault the clerk's office and courtroom was locked and full of people. Yeah, because that makes sense. The court locked everyone in. What exactly is Daniel trying to say? No one could get in the building, yet it's filled with people? Shit just doesn't add up. Then Daniel seems to become angry. As he writes, I was late to court because I'm famous and have popularity issues in public with fans and haters everywhere I go. Don't blame that on me when I was at court the same day. At least I showed up. Folks, Daniel is just asking to go back to jail. I mean, he doesn't give a shit about anything at this point. Foreshadowing. He took all that time to go to the courthouse and worry about the case all day just to fucking show up late and miss it completely. After this, Daniel goes right back to full on schizo posting writing, I just blocked Clark for releasing the jail footage. Daniel, it took you this long to figure out Clark has been posting all your conversations. I mean, didn't you find out about the college shit not too long ago? How come you didn't block him then? <laughs> Daniel continues speaking nonsense writing, Bob has framed me. After this, Daniel becomes increasingly Bob's not even there. Angry at Bob, writing, Bob, go ahead and leave my life. We are done. A little bit later, he also writes this long post about Bob, writing, Bob acts like I'm a murderer or something, and he knows I would never do such a thing. So that's why I sent the death threats, because he acted like a two year old. Mikey. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Daniel has such a complicated relationship with I'm Bob. not a murderer. It's like I kill one you. Second he hates the guy. And He's being such a two-year-old. Yeah. Oh, never hurt anybody. That's what I give him the death threat. <laughs> and the next he's upset because he wants to spend more time with him. We see this as Daniel writes, I want to spend time with Bob before he dies of cancer. Bob has had cancer longer than Daniel has been obsessed with Grace. I mean, shit, when isn't Bob dying? It's hard to... <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty dark. <laughs> yeah. You know what's true. Y'all, Daniel has been going pretty crazy lately. You know what that says? I'm so happy he's had a, G a Jesus arc. So now, unlike Cyrex, which he was a warrior of God, yeah, 
he's like Chris Chan, and now he thinks he's. Yeah. But what's new? He still thinks he's getting engaged to fake Grace, but now they've also convinced him that he's the new Jesus. Not only that, but he's also been saying he's gonna flee Colorado. So a lot has been going on in the Daniel Larson universe, folks. But first, let's get into these videos. After showing up late to his court hearing, it seems like Daniel's done with his probation altogether. Homie's been bouncing all around Colorado, going to a new place every day. Ever since Daniel's TikTok was banned, he hasn't been posting much short form content. So all we got in was these long, boring lives where he's ranting about whatever comes to his mind. It's even harder to follow than his normal posts, folks. But there was a common theme shared in those lives. Just watch, y'all. I'll just pay the bail, go to court, take it to a ticket to trial, and then I'm fleeing the country. I agree with Grace on that one. Oh, who? I'll flee the country. I'm not gonna flee the country now. I'll wait till after my court cases are done, but as soon as my court cases are done, I'm fucking leaving. Where would he go? Probably somewhere that has, like, kill on uh, do sight. Do you think he would ever get a passport? No. You can't. I think I'll move to Ukraine. Hmm. Um, so I've now, I'm on the run, pretty much. I'm completely on the run. Bob He's on the lamb. Bob told me to. So, Do you remember Metal Gear Solid 2? Yes. So, court. do you think that, like, all these people are different voices in his head? I know there's, I know there's trolls too, but do you think, like, some of it is like playing out in the like the back of his head? Maybe. That's crazy, crazy to think about. Yeah. Needs to realize that I don't have a job. I'm self-employed, and I'm innocent. So Bob manipulated my way and manipulated my court cases to where I now have to basically be on the run. Which is kind of fucked up. But I'm not going to go to jail and sit there for something that I'm innocent for. What is he so it innocent seems as for? though Daniel wants to flee Colorado, but it's, it's hard to say if he truly nope. will. He's definitely thinking about it though, which is enough for Daniel's manic mind to act on impulse and truly follow through with the delusion. I mean, we've seen Daniel have a past travel arc, so now we can have a part two, where Daniel is on the run from the law, jumping from city to city, following the nearest flock of geese. But honestly, with the way he's been talking about Grace, I don't think this will be as fun of an arc as most would think. It's likely Daniel will be hyper-focused on this idea of engagement heading straight to LA where he'd fit in with all the other homeless people there. We see Daniel <laughs> continue True. to speak about his engagement to Grace writing, Grace has access to my bank account somehow. Well folks, it looks like we finally found out where all of Daniel's money from Bob has been going. Homie is getting scammed harder than he got pounded by sweet tea. Anyway, Daniel- that's who supposedly graped him. doesn't mention Grace till a little bit later in the day when he writes, I need to stop talking shit about my family now or charges will be pressed. And that includes the Vanderwalls. You might be asking yourself, why is Daniel mentioning his family? Well, folks, Daniel has also been convinced that his mother and father are communicating with him through YouTube comments. Daniel makes some... They're not. Post referencing this writing crap. I accidentally blocked my mother's account on accident. Daniel seems like he's constantly making these stupid grammar mistakes more and more. It's like as uh, opposed to what? Blocking her accidentally on purpose? Then Daniel continues writing, How do you unblock people's account on YouTube Studio? He then follows that up with, Emergency, I actually blocked my dad. Y'all, they got so many characters in the Larson universe, it's crazy that now we're also seeing the addition of Daniel's fake parents, both of which want nothing to do with Daniel in real life. Then we get to the good stuff, folks. Let's talk about Daniel's new claim of being Jesus. This all started yesterday when Daniel wrote, Get ready, because I'm being told tomorrow is going to be a lot crazier than it was today, from biblical sources and biblical calendar. 
After this, Daniel doesn't make any more references to religion. Most thought it was a fluke or just another one of Daniel's random schizo posts, but right. we actually see Daniel speak more about this the next day. But before that, he continues to speak about grace. Today, Daniel has made multiple references to grace, and it seems like he went a lot more harder on the grace delusions than he did yesterday. Let me read a few for y'all. In one, Daniel writes, Grace Vanderwall is already in Colorado and looking for houses. He continues on writing, Grace Vanderwall has an emergency calling to me yesterday. Like I said, folks, Daniel can't write for shit. It makes these incredibly hard to read. Yeah. And Daniel goes right back to talking about his engagement to Grace. It's one of the reasons why I use uh, the Leaping Lemur. Yeah. So I don't have to read all. Dude, there's a lot of posts that he puts. Right. Yeah, Grace I'm and sure. I are back engaged. Yes, Daniel, we know. Daniel has broken up and got back with Grace <laughs> three times this week. It's scary how persistent this guy is. Then Daniel writes, true love is a dangerous game. And then Daniel goes from talking about Grace to making this long post about Bob, which I really wanted to take a look at. I told y'all this was going to be a long video, so let's get into the next post. Daniel writes, Because Bob didn't ever give me a one-time payment so I could get housing and instead played games with my mental health, I demand $10,000 direct deposit by tomorrow so I can fix my savings and get my quarterly 5% interest, or I will leave the state of Colorado. Last warning, look who will be suffering now. This goes back to Daniel wanting to leave you, Colorado, Daniel, you. and obviously he's pretty yeah. set in the idea. But currently, Daniel's in Colorado Springs, so I guess we'll have to wait and see if he keeps going or heads back towards Denver. Now let's jump back into Daniel's Jesus arc as Daniel continues pulling a Chris Chan, writing, The Vanderwalls are saying I'm the new Jesus or disciple. In the New Testament, they say that a new religion or Jesus could be walking on earth, waiting for the right time to make it known. Daniel continues oh, with his no. bullshit, writing, I have been guided by angels. Lastly, writing, angels came to me last night at midnight to tell me Grace Vanderwall was the one. So folks, the Jesus arc is in full force. Just a matter of time before the trolls tell Daniel he's immortal and get him killed somewhere out in the middle of Colorado. Y'all, yep. Daniel has had a wild week so far. He has broken up with Grace and then started claiming he was going on the run. Today, we get to see Daniel finally make it to Colorado Springs. In a bit, we'll also see Daniel claim he walked the whole way there, documenting parts of his journey along the way. So let me show you guys the videos Daniel has uploaded today, including one where he shows off where he had to sleep one night. Just watch Watch, folks. Alrighty. So this is uh, still day three of my 2024 Daniel Larson adventure. He walks all the way down to another uh, area of Colorado. Yep. Documented the whole thing. It's boring spot. Um, but Mark, you said something about him going to jail. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? How are you doing? Wait, today? no My longer. My name is the leap. My name is the leaping lemur, and welcome back to another video. Now, this one's just hopping around. Yeah. Opportunity to get fully R-worded and find a chocolate hot dog to munch on. Nothing is better than the chocolate-covered hot dogs. Well, Scooby Doo. It's an um, eclair, yeah, yeah, well, a long john, whatever they're called. Uh, eclairs I, are eclairs are the things that you freeze. I thought it was poop for a minute. I got really scared. Ready, ready, roll. So far, we don't hmm. have any information on the charges relating to this arrest, although it's likely a prior warrant that. Daniel had in the area. But we'll see later, Daniel might have also committed another dine and dash. I mean, one of Daniel's last videos was him recording as a fire alarm went off at the hotel he was staying at, and it seemed a little too convenient. So Daniel was itching to get arrested. Just watch, folks. He just looks like he's doing something bad. I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was a fire. Yeah. I mean, it's smoking it around. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's fire. 
<laughs> okay. So sleazy. I know, like, dude, maybe he didn't do anything, but fucking... Guilty by Bug Eye. So let me know what y'all think. Did Daniel pull the fire alarm or not? Let me know in the comments below. Daniel also made some of his classic community posts as well, and these give more insight into why Daniel may have got arrested. He started off in the morning writing, my probation officer is about to put out a nationwide warrant for my arrest if I'm not in the probation office tomorrow morning. Following that up with, they can't extradite you out of the state for a misdemeanor. They can arrest you in Colorado, but not if you're in another state. Daniel Larson is constantly talking about his experience with the jail system in Colorado. It's crazy. Homie's starting to become an expert on all the loopholes and shit. I mean, he's probably completely wrong, but I don't know enough to comment on what he said. I'm sure somebody with more knowledge. It's like it's like Cyrex. It's Castle Law. It like. <laughs> hey knowledge could probably give more insight into it. But let's move on. Daniel later writes, I have gone through all my money, adding the trolls reported my Cash App account and it got banned. Daniel is probably the most. So, last video, PayPal. That was Cash App. Yep. Well off homeless person I've seen. The only reason homie never has money is because he doesn't know how to spend it. Once he gets any significant amount, his first thought isn't, how can I efficiently spend this money to have some left over to save? It's, where's the nearest hotel or expensive restaurant I can waste this at? Daniel has yep. been saving up for an apartment longer than Bob has had cancer, folks. A little bit later, Daniel also writes, I'm stranded until I make more money and then I have to get to the bus stop a mile away and back to Colorado for the night. Y'all, keep in mind that Daniel had a probation meeting tonight and he was wasn't arrested in Denver, so it's hard to know exactly what happened in between, but obviously Daniel didn't make it to that meeting. Later, Daniel writes, I'm about to get the bill for lunch, also stating, Bob is trying to get me to dine and dash, and that's not gonna happen. Yeah, sure, Daniel. It was Bob who told you to do that. Bob has gone from a real person to another one of Daniel's delusions in his head, someone he can quickly blame when things go bad. Daniel then gives everybody an update, Bob, writing, Bob wasn't I just real. got my lunch paid for. <laughs> my guess is no one really paid for that food, as Daniel Daniel's last post is him writing, I just chipped my tooth. Y'all, I'm wondering if Daniel had a small freak out at the restaurant after not being able to pay, probably getting easily found as he was arrested waiting for the bus back to Denver. But that's my theory. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Anyway, y'all, that's it. What's going on everyone? How are you doing today? My name is The Leaping. My name is The Leaping Lemur and welcome back to another. So seen the release of Daniel's Broomfield arrest footage, which I'll show y'all now. This is what he was talking about before. Five. Yeah, he does. Five, Mikey. Yep. He just was at jail. Yep. Five. It on today. Okay. Okay. And then we're gonna contact Jeffco, and they're probably gonna extradite you on the other ones. Okay. Okay. All right. I am aware of okay. the one. I don't want the, I don't want your bags. Okay. We'll end up your. You Remember last time they checked his bags? Yep. Put your phone already in the bag if you like. Yep. Because uh, sure. we're going to end up putting it in the bag anyways, okay? Yep. Bag okay. in a bag and a bag in a bag. I was aware of the warning that okay. I thought it was actually about. Okay. Um, and then he said just uh, deal you with it on the 27th available. since I have the warrant from Jefferson County. Okay. All right. Go ahead and stand up for me, okay? Sure. I got you. Okay, put your hands behind your back. Here, give me the back. I'm wondering if you were like very compliant. Could you say like, "Hey, if I go willingly, could you guys just like handcuff me in front? I won't do anything." Uh, I, I think they. I mean, they have. They can. They can do that. I've seen that. Um, so you however, just do it for like special people. However, not with him. No, fuck that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Because I have seen uh, where a woman was in the front and she went for a guy's officer's gun and like shot him in the leg. So, yeah. All units are pictures en route to a breathing problem. You know, the police probation officer wasn't. Uh, I 
can see one on a broom field. But I can tap. Okay. Oh. And then you'll be uh, transported from there. Okay. Okay, because I believe your bond is zero, so you'll be, they'll come and pick you up at some point. Okay, so my bond is, because I was told I think I had a thousand dollar PR. Why would you fucking say that? You have a few different ones. I'll look at them all to see which one it is, but I thought it was zero. I may So of course, Daniel gets real calm and collected when the cops come around, but when it's just civilians, Daniel freaks out and acts like an animal, doing things such as freaking out at the Panera Bread or pulling a fire alarm at the Olive Garden. He does these things because he knows it's the best way for him to weasel himself out of situations. But anyway, let's look at what Daniel has posted on his community tab since he's gotten out. Daniel started off by updating everyone writing, I'm back in debt, quickly following that up with, I just got out of jail. Of course, Daniel's first post back is about his finances. Homie was so excited to announce that he was in a bear market. That was the first thing he thought of posting. <laughs> At one point, Daniel also posted about Grace's friend coming to pick him up, but nothing really came out of it. Daniel started off by writing, Grace Vanderwall's friend is coming to pick me up and take me to Boulder, Colorado. Later adding this text from Tina, which reads, they're Grace's friends as well if you wanna meet them somewhere to be safer, but they're just innocent girls. Folks, this shit is sick. The way the trolls weave PDF file references into their trolling isn't really helping anything. It's just fueling Daniel more and getting these fantasies into his head, making him think that they could be a possibility. And hopefully the authorities will look into his love for children. Daniel also spoke about what happened when he was arrested, writing, The arresting police knew I had probation today and they chose to arrest me on purpose because people on the bus were calling them lying about me. Later also writing, I'm about to head back to Boulder, Colorado. Y'all, I'm sure by now, being released from jail is like nothing to Daniel. To him, it's just another day. Soon he'll go right back to his normal schizo posting and dining and dashing. Speaking of dining and dashing, we also get to see Daniel eat dinner as he complains about not being fed in jail, writing, I'm at dinner right now because the jail didn't give me dinner or lunch because of court. Later adding, the jail didn't get me dinner last night. Daniel was only in jail for like an hour. I'm surprised they fed him at all. At this point to Daniel, the jail is like a free hotel room with room service included. Which it is. Yep. Shit, Daniel even gets a good toothbrush or two to use throughout the night. I love the reference again again with toothbrushes. It's his dream. Daniel also made some references to the dinner he got after complaining about not being fed in jail, starting off by writing, I just ordered dinner. Later adding, I'm trying to figure out how I will pay for my dinner because my bank account just collapsed again in the negative bank balance since my jail release. Most people go to a restaurant when they have extra money. Daniel goes to a restaurant when he's in debt, hoping he can get his hands on the cash register and leave with extra cash. But in all seriousness, when is Daniel going to stop dining and dashing? Go steal from a chain store at least, like all the other homeless people. I mean, it's not like Daniel's eating steak and lobster either. Homie later posted a picture of his meal writing, My dinner tonight was delicious, with a picture of these sad, burnt-looking pretzel bites. Oh. Gross. Uh. <laughs> this is the late, uh, the last one is the latest update. Daniel? What? What's going on, everyone? How are you? I want her fucking dead. I want Grace fucking dead. I want... <laughs> I want her fucking dead! I want her fucking dead! <laughs> this is why we were going to talk about Daniel Larson. Uh, yeah. I have no doubt that he will be arrested by the time this comes out. I mean, if he's not, then the cops in Colorado are really slacking, because to me, this seems like an open and shut case, especially when you consider the threats he made. As y'all probably know, the past couple of days, I took a break from Daniel to finish up my new World of T-Shirts documentary, and at the time, Daniel was doing his normal schizo posting. Some examples include him writing, Bob will die not knowing I was safe, and the next day also writing, I have a job interview this afternoon set up. Now folks, keep these two community posts okay. in mind as we continue, yeah, because right. they are an integral part of this freak out and soon it'll all make sense at least okay. as much sense as something involving daniel can make first let's start off with the lead up to this freak out yesterday daniel uploaded the same video two times with the first upload being titled daniel larson sends a warning of a lawsuit of falsely charged and the second being titled daniel larson's message to the fbi you don't know shit about me this video involves daniel threatening both the fbi right. and bob with the lawsuit for falsely incriminating him all righty this is the mess if you're wearing headphones be prepared, there's a lot of wind. ...to the feds, the FBI, CIA, the U.S. government, and Bob, and everybody on Earth. You better not try to twist what I am saying 
and take little bits and pieces of my social media and try to incriminate me and try to press charges on me because you guys are trying to take what I say, take the things that I've said, and twist the entire story around. If anyone does that, there will be a massive, massive lawsuit. I am friends with Donald J. Trump. <laughs> and when he's president, I will make sure that he takes down the feds. Okay. People like Daniel Larson make me, like, not really, but second guess me being on the side of voting for Donald Trump. It's like, it, if if he likes him, what does that say about me? But I'm not going to sit here and play games where the feds are like, oh, you threatened us. You said this. You said that. When you don't even know the entire reason why. And you don't even know that I'm in danger every single fucking day. Because of my popularity, I get fucking attacked every single day. Dude, look how fucking, like, if you remember the, like, first, like, when he first started becoming homeless, and now, how much more he looks like that old guy that were, that were, like, in those 90s movies? Like, the one that looks like he had, like, no jaw? I have no clue what you're talking about. Uh, maybe someone does out there. Eh, maybe. Leave it in the comments. And you guys don't get two shits. So that's on you guys. It's on us. Daniel also did three live streams that day, which are titled the following. Daniel Larson talks about his plans for housing. I need to clear off my debt. And Daniel Larson apologizes to Bob. Well, folks, that apology didn't last long. And as you'll see in a bit, Bob should probably be worried about his safety because Daniel seemed like he was genuinely going to act on the threats that he made. Instead of just telling you, let me show y'all. Initially, Daniel started a live stream in which he ran furiously down the street. This didn't last long, though, only being about a minute and 30 seconds. Soon after that, Daniel also started another stream, which has now been deleted, in which he gets the angriest I've ever seen Daniel so far. Fucking cow, cow, cow. Cow. I sent a message to the fucking feds. You fucking don't listen to me. I will fucking kill you too. Murder. Bomb you. Drooling. Yeah. And yelling murder. himself As you can see, Daniel isn't just doing his normal schizophrenic rants. He's genuinely angry at Bob and seems like he's going through a psychotic episode. A main sign of psychosis yeah. is word repetition. According to the National Library of Medicine, individuals with psychosis... I love with uh, these little cows, we learn more and more about the human psyche. Yeah. ...exhibit disorganized speech that can be off-topic, drift from original thought, or be incoherent or difficult to follow. So basically, it's every time I talk about a little cow and then I talk about something else. Speech by individuals with psychosis can be vague and repetitive, as well as... Re and I say the same thing over and over again. 
reduced in quantity and syntactic and lexical complexity. I mean, sure, Daniel might go on incoherent rants, but he's just straight up repeating the same words, kill and bomb, both in incomplete sentences, lacking and any lexical complexity, even for Daniel's standards. We can only hope the proper authorities can see this, so Daniel could be stopped, as even after freaking out, he continued to post, with one stating the wind is making it so he couldn't walk, and another claiming he was going 20 miles to Boulder, Colorado. Both are completely unwatchable, as the strong winds in Colorado make it impossible to record proper audio. But there's not really anything to look at in those videos anyway. Daniel just grunts and moans as he walks, deeply staring into the camera with his crazy looking eyes. I mean, it's only a matter of time till Daniel hurts someone. Look at what's setting him off. After the freakout took place, a user commented on Daniel's newest community post, writing, Daniel, why were you so mad on live earlier? With Daniel responding, I can't make it to probation, and I'm not safe in public anymore, and Bob and Clark are in contact, and Bob is lying to me. With Daniel so that's the update for Daniel Larson. He's, wow. It's slowly becoming not fun anymore. And more. I'm just waiting for the climax. Yeah. Um, like, I, you know, with the locales that we do cover, uh, you know, you can say Cyrex, maybe his arc's going to end. But it won't. We know that we have to have a homeless arc. Uh, a prison arc, and then it may end. But this one is like, oh, this is jumping off a bridge. Yeah. Um, or violently attacking a police officer, which I don't think it's there yet, because when he's with cops, he's very cooperative. Yeah, he but immediately anybody goes else docile. Yeah. But if you're a security guard or something like that, I'll, I'll throw hands. Yep. But, um, yeah. What a piece of shit. <laughs> Yeah, and, and I don't appreciate the trolls that actually put him in people's direct paths. Um, and then, like, poke it. It's like they're taking a stick and poking a bear, a wild bear, and being like, huh, look. Yeah, but this bear has, like, scabies. Yeah. And it's mentally uh, gone. Yeah. And it's, it, it's obsessed with race bear wall. <laughs> it's, it's a cocaine bear. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so stop doing that. Like, it's fine to poke him. Just don't point him towards people. That's yeah. bad. You get somebody hurt. And then, not only will, is it his fault, but then it's your fault for doing it. Uh, so, ugh. I just hope nobody gets hurt too bad. I hope nobody gets hurt, but I, I also, you know, if somebody does, I hope it is just a little bit. And mostly, I hope it's Daniel Larson that gets hurt. <sighs> anyway, uh, go check us out on YouTube at Banana Bear Show and be sure to check out all the other stuff. We've got plenty of videos on Daniel Larson, Cyrax, all the good locales. And uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next video. Bye. Bomb. Bomb.